Hey, what's up, folks? I'm Jibbo, and uh, first I want to say thank you. I've recently been getting a lot of positive feedback for like my stream and my Hugo play, so I'll continue to do that as long as you know there's interest for it. So as far as Evo, my probability of going is pretty much zero percent. I actually got the days off for it, and I intended to go, but there's quite a few things that don't make it like a, a sound decision for me. I, so. A little bit of background. I went to the Evo last year and I overall had a really good time. And I played only Street Fighter Cross Tekken, uh, made top eight, but more importantly, I got to see like a lot of good friends. Like shout outs to Ryan Hunter, Kelvin, uh, Seth LOL, and of course Car Storm Saki. And in the end, that's really what it's about for me. Like the friendship, I've, the friendships that I've made from like my history as a fighting game player, they're invaluable. Like, which is why it's a tough call for me to, like, to not go to EVO this year. So, the first issue is the planning of it. The uh, best time for me to actually buy a ticket, at, like a plane ticket at a fair price, was the same time that I was in Japan for an uncertain amount of time. And uh, I was there doing, like, you know, the whole Air Force thing. And I really did enjoy myself in Okinawa. Like, shout outs to Chris Creasy. Like, that was good shit. <laughs> Going to arcades with him was like the most. I've I haven't had that much fun fighting games since like Third Strike when I was like kind of growing up in it. But uh, in hindsight, I should have bought a refundable ticket, and like you know, if I can't, if I couldn't go, just get the money back. But still, there wasn't really a guarantee that I would be back in time or be able to even get the days off to go. So there's that. Excuse me. Uh, about the game itself. Competitively, Hugo, in my current opinion, is he's a very poor tournament character. Obviously, he's not that amazing, like just in general, but I tend to agree with Japan on his tier status. Excuse me. If you follow me somewhat, you know that I really I don't really give a shit about tiers. But like if you look at the matchup from a matchup standpoint, Hugo is almost always at an immediate disadvantage versus pretty much every character in the game. Like I think it's 6-4, at least 6-4 until he gets knocked down. And even then, you have to make very pressing decisions and you obviously have to execute them and that's, you know, it's difficult. Uh, what I like to say is that there's very little room for error with very few chances for success. So what I'm really getting at is that I have an extremely low probability Damn, I gotta watch this camera. I got an extremely low probability of making top eight, and like that's where the money is. I I would feel lucky making it out of pools. Like I feel like me even mentioning top eight Hugo at Evo is like it's hilarious. The chances are not even as Tokido would say, not even two percent. So back to the game in general. Like I think the game Hugo in Street Fighter Four has made it tolerable, like almost enjoyable for me. And I mean, so I'm pretty much, I'm somewhat dedicated to him. Like, I've thought about just picking, like, whoever is the best character and just, you know, easy money. Like, when it boils down to it, that's pretty much, like, without really putting much thought into this sentence, I don't respect the game enough, so I just pick whatever makes the most <laughs> out of it. So that, there's that. Like, I've considered playing, like, Yuri or Jun, but anyways, that, that leads to my next issue. I don't really enjoy Street Fighter 4 as a whole. Like, I... I, I, I enjoy streaming it like a lot more than like just playing it by itself it's you know it's whatever but streaming it and inter interacting with people going back to like one of my first points that's what's really that, that's what I enjoy about it but I think since its release Street Fighter 4 has improved a lot but it just it's not the fighting game that I feel I can really express myself into like my most potential as a person so without going into much detail about that I just don't feel rewarded when I win, and when I lose, it doesn't feel meaningful. And like that's the player interaction just doesn't push me to my limits. So I don't pursue the game passionately. Even in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I didn't pursue that game with much passion. But it was fun enough, and I was good enough at it to merit the like the travel cost. And obviously, I made I made some good relationships, you know, because of that game. But that's that's just how it is for Street Fighter Four, unlike the other side of the coin. The bottom line is I'll spend about a thousand dollars easily going to Vegas and it's gonna be for a game that I'm not really that crazy about and I have a very low probability of doing well in and like almost 
like nothing. There's no very little probability that I'll make money off of it. Even in like money matches, that's that's fucking dicey. <laughs> So yeah, I'll play with my Hugo and lose five games straight. But I, I didn't want to talk about this point that much, but I wrote it down, so I'm going to like say a little bit. I probably shouldn't say anything, but anyways, I mildly considered doing like a donation type thing. But and like I would I would like make music for it. Pretty much give me money, I make music. That's pretty much the idea of it. But I just don't feel good about accepting other people's money when I know I could have done it more like financially efficient and not to mention I can just literally buy a ticket right now. It's just making it more easily justifiable if and I mean that's the the it's cool that people's had the support, you know, but I just it's just not like I don't know, ethical comes to mind, but that's not the exact word I'm trying to use to express what I'm saying. But that's that's kinda of the, the concept of it. So I'm sorry if it disappoints anybody that I'm not gonna be there. Like, I'm sure if I went, I'd probably play, like, I'd play a few matches on stream. But that's, I mean, that's cool. That's, that's good to, like, how do you say, like, get the uh, exposure. But eh, it's not really that necessary. But once again, I'm, I apologize if it disappoints anybody. And it's just, like, it's not really, I mean, it's in my cards to go, but I don't want to play those cards. <laughs> so once again, thank you for your continued support. And I'll keep streaming and making content as long as people are watching. That's it. Peace!